What's up ladies and gents, and as you can see here, what I have got in front of me, may have gotten a little teaser of it on Twitter, as you can see the Bat Computer 2.0 is finally complete, ready to go, ready to whip some ass, and I've got my good buddy here. Hey guys. We. How's it going? Alright. I, I asked him to help me out with a, uh, with a new computer, and since he's a techno geek extraordinaire, I figured it just Love. made sense. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. This is a this is a great project. We're really fortunate enough to have Bruce's budget to <laughs> really get a chance to start building this thing. Um, so it was a lot of fun for me and my brothers. Uh, fortunately, my brother couldn't be here today, but so speaking on his behalf, um, we built Bruce's computer with a lot of different things in mind. First off, mm -hmm. the the case. We wanted to get the ultimate baddest case out in the market right now, which is the uh, Corsair 900D. Um, so you can see tons of room. I mean, you can fit almost anything in this case. Yeah, we can fit his little brother in here. Yeah. My brother even joked that he could fit in there. He's a big <laughs> guy. So we actually have an apple down here for scale. <laughs> so, I mean, this thing is right. big. You really could fit a person here. And that, that is not an exaggeration anyway whatsoever. I know some of you requested a banana, but all I have is apples and pears and oranges. So you have to settle for the apple. And then, as you can see, I mean, you could fit, you could fit a whole or <laughs> apple tree in there. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> it's scary. So why why did we go with this one? I know it's badass, but I mean it's um it's the, you know just go back to just being you know the one of the biggest cases in the market. The so thus there's a lot of airflow that can be handled in there because there's just so much space on the inside. Um, you know we can we can fit we can fit a lot more fans. Um, there's enough room for expansion in the future. So this is a case that Spruce is going to be using in the future. Um, so if you want us to switch out to a bigger uh, motherboard, we can definitely do that. If we want to have dual um, power supplies, we can always have that too. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to have quad SLI uh, configuration set up for graphics cards, it, it, it'll, it'll handle it. So, yeah, it's a beast. Uh, well, go ahead and actually open the case here. I'll All go right, over yeah, let's get, a, let's get a good look in here. So I've never had like a professionally <laughs> built computer before. I mean, usually I just go to Fry's, ask the guy, tell him I need it, and he just sort of run me through it, and my, my brother would help me build it. Actually, he would just build it himself. I don't know jack shit, which is not exactly how I think it should be, but man, I don't know. Once they start talking about computers, I start to get frustrated. <laughs> right. So, with this thing, we wanted to... We also took a couple of things in mind with this case, too, was that there was a bunch of hard drive bays that we can always utilize because as Bruce is here, he's running his videos. Each video is, is about, what would you say, Bruce? 10, 20 gigs? No, no they're not that big. big. It's the recordings that where they get you. See, rendering, you want to cut that down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we really want to make sure that Bruce has enough space right now. So right now he's using um, three of the uh, six bay hard drives, but we can expand this to, um, to three right here. We also have another three later on in the future if he needed to be. Um, so, onto the motherboard. The motherboard we got the ASUS ROG series um, Maximus 6 formula. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I thought it was just a good looking case, um, a good looking motherboard. You have the uh, heat sinks to the motherboard built right in there. It just looks bad. You have the, um, the ASUS armor on there. I don't know if you can actually see it. But... Uh, let me see if I can get in there. Oh, you need a light. Yeah. A flashlight. It's hard to see in there. Here we go. Great. I flash that in there. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah. much better. So it's a nice, clean case. You don't see all of the uh, little diodes, all the little pins sticking out. You actually see one slick armor, you know, throughout the whole entire motherboard. Um, and also, it has built-in um, little slots for in the future if we want to do liquid cooling as well. And this is actually a little warm. Hey, it's been, I it's played been on a Battlefield 4 to put it through its paces. <laughs> One of the most graphically intensive games out there. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> no, man, no doubt. no doubt. So we got the processor. We got the uh, Intel 470... 47, 47, 47, 47i. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is the upgrade from the Ivy Bridge 3770i. It's an upgrade from the 2600. Okay, so 
With this, we're able to, it's unlocked. We're able to overclock it later on, um, which the one thing that for Bruce, it's all about recording and then rendering his videos. So we want to be able to make that as efficient as possible. You know, I mean, this process is more enough to handle the video games, but I wanted it to be more for his video production. So we built that for gaming and video production in mind, not just gaming alone. Right. Um, the RAM itself, I wanted to do 32 gigs of RAM, but Bruce says... No, I told... <laughs> I, I was very stalwart about this. I mean, we, the only people who need 32 gigs are people who are doing actual 3D rendering from the bottom up. I am not doing that. That's too hardcore. That's a waste of money, we. Especially for someone like me. Hey, and man. even that 16 is still, I think, a little bit much, but since they came in 8 gig sticks, what can I do, right? Hey, so, I, regardless, I, I got the 8 gig sticks so that if he wanted to expand later on in the future, we can. We expand to uh, two more uh, 8 gig sticks. These are um, uh, G Skill Trident series. They are uh, 2400 uh, megahertz and with a uh, case latency of 10. So very low, very fast RAMs. Um, on top of the CPU, we have the uh, Corsair 100H. I think that that's <clears throat> one of the uh, prettiest, most reliable um, liquid cooling block on the market now. The one thing I really like about it is that Corsair uh, did all the, the, the tubing so that we don't have to mess with it. Last thing I need is to feel bad because I wired this wrong and then all of a sudden it starts leaking on Bruce's computer. Yeah, and since... My buddy here is only here for a couple days. Wouldn't be able to yell at him for another <laughs> another few months till he comes back. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, his GPU is a uh, G4 GTX 680, which yeah. is still one of the uh, top-rated uh, video cards on VideoCardBenchmark.com. If you guys are always on that, um, power supply is one that we use actually from his old case, which is the uh, Raid Max 1000 AE. Which I got made fun of for getting, because it's, oh, your computer doesn't need that much. You, sh you only needed 650 with that build. Well, <laughs> what I say to that, I'm you still using it. Next build, probably still be using it well, as right. well if it's still working, so already saving money. Right. Plus the GTX 680, as I'm sure some of you may know, been running this for about a year now, so also reuse that, save a bit of money as well. Right. So, one final note with the case is because we built it with great airflow in mind we really wanted to not to overheat oh so, yeah oh that's the money shot yeah <laughs> and plus bruce's favorite color is blue mm. so we said can't hey go wrong. can't go wrong with it we um we built the sucker with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten get a shot from eleven here. oh yeah we got four see, five six you can land an airplane up 11, here eleven yep twelve 13, 14, 14 different fans. Yeah, plus, let's actually stick it in here. You see we got fans mounted right under the, uh, what is this, the, the radiator of the cooler? Yeah, yeah, so this is set up in a push-pull configuration. So these two fans right here are actually pushing the air up into the radiator while we have two more fans up top that are actually pulling um, air again. So we're getting maximum efficiencies from the radiator. And actually, the Corsair 100H was built for quad fans because they actually mm. gave us two um, fan splitters right here too. So each one can, add, can handle two fans. You so. said the magic words there, buddy, quad. Yeah. That's all I need to hear. That's all we need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Plus these... we're also hooked up with an SSD. I don't know if you mentioned that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I forgot to mention that. We got the uh, Samsung um, 840 EVO, uh, 500 gigs, mm -hmm. so that's where all of Bruce's intensive games um, are installed, that's where the operating system is installed, and we have two terabyte hard drives, so four terabytes total for um, for his storage. Also reused, those were my main drives, so now, now they're just used for storage. Right, right, yeah, so if you guys don't know anything about solid states right now, those, they're, they're fast. I mean, talking about, we installed the operating system in under 20 minutes. Uh, with drivers installed too. Mm -hmm. So they get everything booted up. I mean it boots up in right about 10 seconds straight into the operating system ready to, ready to use. Yeah normally I mean I turn my computer on when I wake up go do the morning routine in the bathroom come out and it's still still loading still booting. Yeah. Now I don't even have time to make it to the door right over there it's already booted as soon as I turn it on. <laughs> it's crazy. 
Plus the loading times. Woo! That's good. That's sick, eh? <laughs> That's not bad. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Well, I'm glad I had the honor to actually build the machine. Did it for a good friend. And uh, glad he uh, gave me the call and said, hey, I want you to build my next machine. So, definitely an honor for me. Yeah, th thank you so much. Professionally built. And before, you know, we just sort of threw money at it without not really knowing what we're doing. But now, I threw money at this one. And I had someone who knows what he's doing help me out here. So, the question of the day that everyone's going to want to know about how much did this run me. Oh. <laughs> not including what I already had. This okay. is the, which is the GTX, the power supply down there, and two hard drives. Alright, so not including what Bruce already had. Our budget ended up being right about... Seventeen hundred dollars and some change, so probably seventeen ten, seventeen twenty. Um, by the way, all the list is going to be on PC Parts Builder. We'll actually put a link um, at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the site there for you guys to actually see and see. Um, but in total, with Bruce's parts, the graphics cards, um, the power supply, and the two hard jobs of reusing it, it pushed the total price up to about twenty eight fifty. Eight hundred dollars for the whole unit. Um, <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. But that's I mean that's like seventeen hundred is about what I spent on my previous two builds. And I I mean after seeing this this bad boy and that was money not well spent. <laughs> <laughs> not well spent at all. You know it's funny because you came to me with a two three thousand dollar budget. No, I don't think it's twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred dollar yeah. budget, and I think you were fully expecting him spending all twenty five hundred. Yeah, I, th I thought he was going to go absolutely crazy, and I think you did, but he was able to snag me some good <laughs> deals. It's right around the end of November, is yep. Right when you want to start looking, because that's when they start doing like Cyber Monday and all that sort of yeah, yeah, that yeah. Sort of stuff. Yeah, no, we got so we ended up getting the best deals. Um, so believe it or not, I think we saw some of the really good deals at the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. um, but right around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, Cyber Monday week was when he bought the um, the Intel 4778K, and uh, you got that for two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Right we went. To, it was in store pickup only. My, at Micro Center, there were four people in line there with me. I think they all were getting the 4772. So it was a hot hot item <laughs> right for the week it was on sale which right. is crazy yeah no typically retails at uh 350 320 so you got a great deal on it uh, i think they were just trying to get people to come into their store which hey they did <laughs> oh, oh yeah they had the lady at the register was very innocent you know you can only get one of these right <laughs> i got no plan to come back in i only need one yeah, yeah. well that doesn't stop people from trying that's yeah. what she said Great, man. I'm glad you like it. It's uh, fantastic, brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, so uh, we took some uh, some more pictures, too, so we'll post up those pictures um, online as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, yeah, just send me those links when uh, when they're all uploaded, and I'll put them in the description for you guys. That might take a while, because you're fl he's actually flying back out to Virginia today, yeah. actually in a few hours. Yeah. So thank you for coming out early in the morning <laughs> so we can fit this in before you head out. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thanks, guys. All right, so there we go. Bat Computer 2.0 up and running. Very beautiful, very beastly. Looking forward to whipping some ass. So with that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, peace soup. That is a good looking apple, though. <laughs> <laughs>